speaker is Tatiana, a local trans woman and activist from Project Weber Renew. And I'm a trans queer outreach worker at Reverend Renew. Reverend Renew is a queer based organization that works with high risk men and women, including the trans community, to provide services, harm reduction, case management, and support. Thank you to the organizers of this event for asking me to come and share my story with you all. For those of you who don't know who I am, the reason for my profound care and concern around the high risk LGBTQ community is because I'm also from the same community same high-risk community that I support. I was one of the one organizations that supported us. I was one of those kids feeling extremely different and there was a level of shame around being attracted to the same sex. There was no place to tell anyone those types of things. Not knowing who you are as a person builds a huge amount of fear, doubt, and insecurity within a person. Not knowing where you belong in a heterosexual world, that's what they call it. And due to the lack of support in our community, I did a whole lot of things that I didn't have to do. Good, bad, and indifferent. From the drugs to the prostitution. At the age of 21, 22, I started using drugs to feel a part of what you all call normality. I was in the next 20 years on a roller coaster of pain and degradation. Very dangerous situations where I happened to be one of the fortunate ones that God did say because not all of my friends made it out. This is why I do the work that I do. And this is why I show up for events such as this to break the cycle. So no one makes the same mistakes that I made. And it continues to baffle me in the year 2017 that this is the topic we're having. If we could look at people as our children, we want greatness for our children, our neighbor, the neighbor that we haven't met yet. And if there's anything I can stand up here and say, I want the same thing for my LGBTQ community that you want for your sons and daughters. I want my trans community to be able to go to a detox, not be treated disrespectfully. I want my clients to be able to leave a detox, go to a treatment facility, and be able to complete it. I, I want business owners to open up their minds and hearts and employ our LGBTQ folks so they don't have to sell themselves. Let's be very clear, trans women, particularly trans women of color, face discrimination, marginalization, sexualization every day. And sometimes we don't have to go far to find it. I don't want to be biased when I say this. I am not here because of the military ban. I am here because of the discrimination and prejudice that trans people face every single day. <laughs> I look forward to working with all of you to continue to work with you things because ultimately I believe that everyone is going to life with integrity and hope. P.S. Integrity is doing the next right thing for most of you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Tatiana.